Hey, you Trader Shane from GMT Futures and FX. Just want to quickly take you through some uh, tips on backtesting on TradeStation. And what we're going to specifically look at today is using some of the drawing tools to get the most out of our backtesting. Because one of the things that we're going to be doing going forward is obviously we're going to be testing up ideas, concepts, or current systems. And when you initially go in and, and start testing your trend trader system, you've got to do a 30-day back test. Well, that 30-day back test is you're going to want to be using your drawing tools to do that. Let's go on through and have a look at what's available uh, on TradeStation to help us do that. So if you click on view and go into your toolbars, you'll see that you've got a number of options here. The one that we want is our drawing tool. So we'll go to our drawing toolbar and that populates, it should populate a uh, list of toolbars down the left hand side of your uh, TradeStation platform. That You can move that anywhere obviously but uh, I've got it on the left hand side. Now let's go through some of the tools that we're really interested in using. Uh, we want to be able to particularly if we're marking up the charts for example the trend trader we know that when we break resistance and we get those sighing candles that's our entry for a potential long setup. So this would be our entry for a long setup at 101.45 on crude oil. Now to mark that up, I, I typically use a vertical line, mark up where the entry point is. I might even use the arrow to put in there. I can enlarge the arrow if I want and I'll format the arrow there and I can pick a, a slightly larger arrow so I can see it a little, little bit better. It's more visual. There's my, uh, there's my arrow in. Now, basically, if I'm going to track my stops, I can, I can basically use the, uh, use the text to uh, write on here. They've got a long entry, and my price there is 101.45. My, I'm using a trailing stop here uh, that is tracking underneath these the TP, the TP are uh, the little green dots. Well, then if I get taken out, there's my entry point there, 101.45. If I get taken out, say, a couple of ticks below that, those green dots, which is my first exit point, I've made 54 points or 54 ticks on that uh, that move, $540. Now, all I've done is I've used the drawing tool, the trend line drawing tool, looks like a little pencil. Now, I can go in and right click on that and format that trend line, and I can potentially add in a time span so I can show how long it took for that trade to uh, to go to target or get stopped out and also can show how many bars were involved in that if I'm doing my back testing I might want to start tracking the time and the bars that are in that trade and that allows me to get uh, get some more analysis on my uh, back testing so these are really good tools for obviously they're going to be critical for your back testing it helps you it's going to help you frame up your charts and if you're looking at developing a strategy going forward if you do your own personal strategy and you want to test that and, and have it coded up then obviously you, you're going to need to do a 30-day back test that's that's one of the minimum requirements so you're definitely going to be wanting to test up whether that system is making money now obviously we've got the power of the automation so once we code a strategy up it's very easy for us to uh, to do some more in-depth uh, in-depth analysis and coding on the strategy but initially we want to make sure that any strategy we're looking at has a positive expectancy or an edge and this is one way we do it and obviously using the drawing tools we can start marking up our chart and determining whether we've got an edge in the market and, and also uh, we can use some of these tools to uh, to visually see what's happening on our charts and uh, mark where our entries and exits are and our stops. So they're the main tools that I use. I'll use a vertical, horizontal, I'll use the uh, trend line, generally uh, using the arrow up or arrow down. Uh, I might also use the eclipse as well just to mark up say a zone where I want to look at, uh, draw some attention to an area. Uh, I might uh, use the circle just to show where it was taken out. So they're just little features that you have in TradeStation to help you with your back testing and uh, help you mark up your charts as you're going forward. So there's a very quick look at uh, using the drawing tools. Thanks for your time, traders. Have a fantastic day, and we'll catch you on the next uh, next training update. Cheers. Hey, traders. Thanks for spending time with us today. If you'd like more information on how to become a GMT Futures and FX Automated System Trader, it's very simple. All you need to do is send us an email, info at gmtfutures.com, or you can email me at shane at gmtfutures.com to get started. 
or alternatively, you can give us a call on 617-336-00875, and we're happy to take your calls and and have a chat to you about our systems, and particularly some of the ones that we've previewed today. So uh, stick around. We're going to preview some more videos and do a bit of an update on our stats for, obviously, May and how some of our other multi-systems and single systems have performed for this month. No doubt if you've been tracking them on YouTube, you'll be able to compare how they've been tracking over the last... Uh, six or so months so thanks for your time have a fantastic rest of the day and we'll catch you on our next update cheers